We were not too ambitious at first. Uh, we thought it was it was going to be just an ordinary uh, development, or maybe extraordinary in terms of Malaysian architecture. But very quickly we realized that this is going to be an extraordinary development in any city. You get a strong feeling for the this particular building because is obviously going to be something unique. The place, of course, was occupied by the turf club, the race course. It was outside the city initially, but the city grew around it and became the centre of the city, and we wouldn't like to have a race course right in the middle of the city. So uh, we were thinking whether government should acquire the land and develop or not. But in the end, Ananda Krishnan bought the land and uh, he decided that he should share the land with Petronas. And uh, Petronas bought a half share in the ownership of the land. At that time, uh, we thought that uh, Kuala Lumpur is quite an old city and it doesn't lend itself to uh, uh, repositioning buildings, building better roads and all that. So this area is quite big, it's 100 acres in the middle. It's going to be in the middle of the city and therefore we had the right to plan from a greenfield site practically. So we could do what we like and we thinking that it is going to be the centre of the city, then we have to plan a very well-considered development that will reflect the, the growth and development of this country. The initial plan was not to build too high a building. It was quite high. And then, uh, uh, I mean, jokingly, I suggested to Azizan of Petronas that why not uh, make it the tallest building in the world. I was just joking, but he took it very seriously and he suggested this to Cesar Pelli and he actually increased the number of floors, uh, but to include a spire, which would make the building higher than the Chicago building. I think the planning is uh, such that it will continue to be the preeminent uh, development in the city of Kuala Lumpur. There will be many other centres, many other uh, development which will challenge the position of KLCC, but no one has a piece of land that size and uh, has developed uh, in that fashion. So uh, it will be the centre of KL, whatever may be the challenges. So the planning for the future must enhance this appearance of uh, KLCC so that people will recognize it as the city within the city. And it is really becoming that at the moment. I think KLCC for Malaysians is an icon. You cannot get away from that. No other development will be like KLCC and I think Malaysians must feel proud. <laughs> <laughs>